VLT Local 8 presents the Food City Kitchen. Folks, it is grill week. We promised it to you and we got it for you and it's going to be so good. You all know Matt Beeler, you know Chef Jan. Uh, we're uh, going to cook. How do we start, Matt? We got to start rubbing the, the pork okay. tenderloins. What we and what is it we're rubbing it with? We've got our BKW barbecue rub. You're going to end up with probably four, maybe even five tablespoons. You want to rub it down good. on both sides, good and heavy. Now, once we've rubbed it down, we let it stand a little while? We're, you can let that stand from anywhere to two to 24 hours, however long okay. you want to let that flavor soak in. Uh, that's covered and in the refrigerator. That's right. Yeah. I'm making a mess. Nah. You wouldn't make a mess, would you? All the time. <laughs> okay. I thought that, but I didn't want to say it. Uh, and uh, then we're ready after it stood for that, that two to 24 hours. Mm -hmm. We're ready to put it on the grill. We're, gonna, we're actually going to make our glaze uh, while we're letting the grill heat, heating up. It's, a, it's an apricot ginger glaze, and, and you've used apricot preserves, our uh, original barbecue sauce, some grated ginger, garlic powder, any type of hot sauce that you like, and uh, some fresh chopped cilantro, and then a little bit of lime juice. And uh, let me tell you, folks, I have tasted that glaze, and it is heaven heaven okay and then once you when do you glaze you, you're going to glaze after you cook it's going to cook for about 15 or 20 minutes uh-huh and about four minutes left is when you're about to uh, when start you put the glaze on and we're about about to that point right now okay why don't you glaze All and right. let me talk about what it's going to look like after it stays another right. five minutes because now jan yes you hold on all right and uh i'm gonna cut all right because I want everybody to see how pretty this is. Well, and it is, it's beautiful. It looks like it's varnished, but it's not. Now let me turn these around so you can see it. Uh, I've got a nice glaze, it's down in the cooler underneath, so just pretend that there's a nice green, uh, there's a nice green garnish down there. <laughs> but look at that, is that not beautiful? Juicy, tender, wonderful, uh, and there's nothing, now remember we talked about a big green egg? That's not one, is it? You know what we're gonna do? We are so sweet and so kind that we're gonna cook in the gas grill so when you win on Friday, that big green egg, you've got a brand new one. Never been cooked in, got charcoal. It's gonna have all the accessories with it. It's gonna be a great little giveaway. It's, it's fantastic. You know, you can register to win that online up to close of business here on Thursday, which is five o'clock and if you're going to not do it online, you're going to have to drop a note by here. Come by and drop it off in, in the office. Today's winner of one of these great BKW seasoning packets is Sherry Payne of Seymour. Sherry, you've you got to call 656-8888 within the next eight minutes, or I'm going to take that home with me, so you better hurry. Now, guess what? We're going to give you the recipe. Chef's Recipe, 6450, Paper Mill Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37919, sending self-addressed stamped envelope, or just go to the web channel, volunteertv.com, posted, waiting for you to get there, and this is day one of Grill Week, and you know what comes next? Day two.